and welcome to the fourth episode of Whiskey Reviews Live tonight, taking place from California. Tonight we will be reviewing the new Guardians of the Galaxy Lego called Aisha's Revenge. It's number 76080 and it's 323 pieces. So uh, here's the front of the box and then here is the back and it looks like there's some hidden components in the Ravager ship, so let's get to this. So it comes with three bags, the instruction sheet, and a comic book and a sticker sheet. Alright, now let's build this sucker up in a time-lapse video. So now that I've built Aisha's Revenge, so this is all that you get, and it's a fair amount, 323 pieces, it was an enjoyable build, sort of tough though, uh, but anyways, let's start with Aisha's portion first. Aisha gets this drone that she's controlling, and just this little stand of, I don't know, the planet maybe, and the drone is pretty colorful and accurate. I mean, uh, obviously I haven't seen the movie or the drones in like real life, but it looks pretty, pretty cool and fantastic and neat. And uh, yeah, it has these stud shooters, which I'm not hu a huge fan of. I prefer the spring load shooters, but you, know, you just press down this little gray thing and shoots them out and those will be found one day. Aisha, with this, um, with this controller, and we'll take a look at the minifigures uh, closer up later, but uh, there's a little action feature involved here, so you see this uh, stud attached to this little gray thing? Well, you push down on that, and it's just a simple little destruction feature. She just sort of flies off. I mean, it's I mean, it's nothing that great, but it's it's a nice little action feature to have. Uh, so that was Aisha's portion. Now this is a Ravager ship. It's the main build, and Yundu is going to pilot that. And it's very, it's very like a Raver, Ravager-ish. I mean, they did a very good job of accurately designing this, and... It's supposed to be rocky, and they use the stickers, which I'm not a huge fan of, but these are really nice prints on the side, awesome prints. And, um, uh, yeah, it's it's smooth in some areas where it shouldn't be. It should be in, a rocky in some areas because, yeah. And it also has these, like, you can 
pull this off and here is a little secret compartment which took a nap in there which is really uh, made to um, put this in it's like some sort of bomb uh, so yeah nice little hidden compartment there that they made and uh, there's more on the side it uh, has a fire extinguisher and a wrench. I don't know why, but in like all Lego vehicles, they have a fire extinguisher. I guess it's nice to have. And um, yeah, and in here are the spring load shooters. You just push down on this lightly. I mean, push up, I believe. Yep, there we go. And uh, those ones are easier to find. Um, I do not like the stud shooters, like I said. And it's, I wish that you could pull this down to get you undoing, but it's a little bit harder than that. You have to move that, and then you have to somehow sit them in there, which is pretty much impossible. Uh, yeah, I, it's pretty impossible to do, but, and, uh, yeah, there's really nothing in there except, like, a little seat and a glass see-through and I mean, yeah I mean that's a it's a decent build it was fairly enjoyable and there's stuff down there on the sides and yeah it's it's a pretty nice ship and but now moving on to the minifigures okay so in uh, this set the minifigures are a Star Lord, Yondu and Aisha so Star Lord is pretty detailed. He looks exactly like the movie version. Very, yeah, very nice. Um, uh, he uh, also has like some sort of jetpack on the back, I think. And he has his Halo blasters. I think that's what they call them. And I, this is the same head for the uh, Captain America one in the Black Panther jet pursuit. And except they added a, a little bit of the beard here and, he, and next is Yundu and he has he calls it a fin on it's like a mohawk and he has his trusty whistle and he's also in a ravager outfit even though he's not really uh, no longer a ravager leader and yeah he's he's pretty nice and uh, very vivid colors very very accurate and this is the uh, this is Aisha who isn't the main villain spoiler alert but she's still a main character and she has this um, this thing in her hand which controls a drone and uh, yeah she is very very phenomenal I mean uh, in the movie the costume design for her was great and they and they made it out just perfect in here and uh, yeah, and um, on the back, they, uh, Star Wars has an alternate face, and uh, so does Aisha, and uh, I'll show you those turned around with the hair. Okay, so uh, Aisha's face is a little calmer, Star Wars' face is a little angrier, and Doos is extremely happy for some reason. Hey everyone, it's Baby Groot in a Ravager outfit. That's awesome. I mean, can't believe they made that. And he's carrying, it's either a battery or a bomb. I don't know. I think it's a bomb, though. And, and he's just so adorable. I mean, how can you not want to buy this figure just for this entire set? I mean, he's awesome. And, and they put so much detail even into the tiniest things. So overall, I think this is a very good Lego set. Maybe it's a little bit spendy for what you get, but it's an enjoyable build, and I love enjoyable builds. The uh, the figures are great, especially with Baby Groot, and, uh, but I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe, like, and tell your friends. I, uh, I hope to see you next week.